Thank you. Yes, we've got about uh, 15 minutes or so to, uh, to take question and answer at this stage to the two speakers that we've had. Um, one looking backwards, the other looking forwards. And uh, really, it's uh, over to you. You know, questions. And, and there's a microphone here, is that right? And a microphone there. So, so we'll take the first question here. Uh, <coughs> Louis Turner, Asia Pacific Technology Network. Well, thank you very much for both, t both uh, talks. But this is a question to Trevor. Um, I was talking to a Brit who's somewhere in the supply sort of line to companies like yourselves. And he was saying the one thing that worries him about uh, Nissan is the fact that your plant is basically specializing in small, small cars and that he wouldn't feel relaxed until he could see your plant winning, you know, much bigger type of um, sort of models. Um, is that actually something that we should be watching if we're sort of representing UK Inc and being worried about, you know, possible dangers of Nissan sort of, you know, just basically plateauing in, in the UK. Sorry, it's okay, I'll, uh, I'll try to answer. I think um, what I would say is that what in this day and age, it's not the, the biggest, the strongest or the fittest that survive. It's those people that are prepared to learn by their mistakes learn by other people's mistakes, learn by their own activity and be agile enough to um, move around and understand the, what the world requires and, and, and position your overall company to do that. That comment, in my opinion, is probably an old comment because when you look at the overall credit crunch, the CO2, then maybe we should be in small cars, um, but, we'll, but we'll see. Uh, what we have done as a plant is we've positioned ourselves through our own activity and through the overall uh, global direction through the Nissan production way of having um, very um, flexible facilities. Uh, the facilities at Sunderland plant can produce up to eight different body styles uh, with minimal investment. So that means that through the excellent skill, training and knowledge of our management team and staff, um, and the facilities that we've bought based on the Nissan production way that we can be very agile and move to whichever way the market is moving. So at, at the moment, um, as, as I showed you on the slides, uh, half the plant is making small cars and half the plant is making um, uh, the lower medium size, size vehicles which are proving very, very successful. But I, I wouldn't say that we have to pigeonhole ourselves as, as, make, as being one type of manufacturer we've got to watch the market and we've got to be flex flexible and agile enough to move towards the, the market demands. Okay. Hey, Andrew Dixon from uh, Newcastle Gates Initiative. I, I, I went around the Nissan uh, plant many years ago now and, and one of the things that really struck me was the, um, the Japanese management culture. And I wonder if you'd say something about how you feel over what's now you know, two decades of that, uh, that's made a contribution to the management culture of the North East. Okay. I, I think um, what, what we have, I, I think, really is a, what we would like to call it a Nissan management culture. Of course, Nissan is a Japanese company, uh, but Nissan is also a very international company that, that understands... Um, local management and if you look at the management team in Sunderland actually um, within the functional uh, operation of the plant there's only actually two Japanese members, one of them is sat over there Mr Okamoto um, so we rely pretty much on local management so we have an international management style within Nissan which obviously takes the best things from each of the regions uh, and fundamentally its basis from, uh, from Japan so um, I think it's something that has, has been developed. I think those people that have worked in Japan will say that working in Nissan Sunland is not quite the same as working in the Japanese plant. Is that right, Shoji? Yeah? yeah, not quite the same. Yeah? <laughs> uh, however, there are some principles that we have adopted uh, because we wanted to pick the best of the best. Uh, and if you go into the USA plant, you'll find they're slightly different from us and again, slightly different from Japan. But what it has fundamentally brought it's brought some management practices and principles based on standardisation, based on the plan, do, check, action, quality improvement cycle, etc. And I think it's, it's those things 
which has, has supported the plant um, uh, in terms of its, its skill development, its quality improvement and its overall competitiveness. And of course, um, many of those have been translated into our supplier base uh, and, and other areas. So does that, does that answer your question? Yeah. yeah I'm just quite interested in, I don't know what the turnover of employees are, but um, the people that have, have worked within this, Nissan and then gone on into other companies within the North East and, and that, that commitment to quality, constant improvement, um, the equality between management and staff is, I found very good values when, when I visited Nissan and I'd like to think that they're, they're rubbing off into other parts of the North East. Yeah, I'll give you a little anecdote. It's a true story, however. I went to my friend's house um, last month and he was having an, ex uh, an extension done to his kitchen. Um, I was quite surprised when I walked in that it was actually two ex-employees uh, who were actually building his kitchen. Uh, from the body shop and uh, they, they quickly pounced on me and said it's the best thing I ever did leaving Nissan yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and I said thank you very much um, and, and he said however he says what I, I can't get away from is the um, overall work ethic and understanding of how to do a job properly and quality has helped me in my setting up my business and I'm getting a lot of repeat work and uh, sort of consigned work, if you like, from the, the level of work I do. So, of course, um, working at Nissan is very difficult. Um, uh, m many of it is sort of um, quite repetitive work, and it's not there for everybody. Uh, but what we like to think that we do is we, for those people who want to work with us, we treat them well, we train them well, and hopefully if they do want to leave us, they can take some of that with them to help them in their future life. <laughs>